Epiphany is a song about the concept of the Holy Trinity and some of the obvious contradictions involved with it. Um, we all know the first commandment, I'm your God, you shall have no other gods besides me. Yet at the same time, um, there is this uh, concept of the Holy Trinity which involves three kind of separate parts that are at the same time all kind of the same uh, being. And I have trouble understanding that, uh, that kind of entity that this is supposed to be. You know, is it, is it one or is it three actually? And actually I'm uh, not the only one having trouble understanding that. Uh, Richard Dawkins quotes a couple of uh, th Catholic theologists in his book The God Delusion that gave it a shot at trying to explain that. And uh, their explanations were so vague and, uh, and, and cloudy in a way that they didn't really make any sense at all. And I have a problem with, uh, you know, trying to believe things that um, someone can't really explain to me in a way that makes any sense to me or that I could uh, follow with, with my rational mind. Um, and then there is also... Um, there is also a large number of saints in Catholic mythology. Dawkins lists this hilarious website which uh, mentions all 5,400 uh, people that were ever declared saint by the Catholic Church. And, and those saints are at least to be considered demigods, you know, because they're capable of things that no other human beings can do. They can cure people and whatnot. And um, so on one hand, it's... it's uh, it's one God, you know, the first commandment, I'm your God, you shall have no other gods besides me. On the other hand, there's all these people that are at least like, you know, somewhere in between uh, human beings and gods. And that's an obvious contradiction there for me. And this is what the song deals with in uh, a bit of a polemic, kind of funny way. You know, it's not too serious. Um, musically, it is a it is quite an unusual track for the ocean. It's uh, as it mainly consists of piano and, and vocals. Um, the vocals for this song were heavily influenced by Trent Reznor, who is uh, one of my main influences when it comes to vocals, and that's the same for our singer Luik, so that's where we function together very well in terms of uh, where we want to go and, and what we like. Um, it starts with just one vocal line really and then builds up the second verse uh, has a second line coming in and then towards the end there's a third line which is almost scream but it's really far in the back of the mix so you should check it out on headphones but it really adds to the to the um, depth and, and the density of the part really um, it's a uh, yeah it like I said it's it's a very unusual song it's a lot of uh, you know a lot of fans will probably hate us for that but I don't really care because I play the music that I like to play and that makes sense to me and uh, if people go with us then great if not uh, then sorry for everyone who feels disappointed for having a non-metal track on an ocean album it is not a metal track but we were never merely a metal band you know we've always had these influences uh, from different uh, genres of music we've always had classical instruments being part of part of our approach to music and um, and uh, that's what makes it interesting for us and hopefully also for, for the people out there. You know, and I know that the people who really appreciate this band do so because we're trying to institutionalize change and try to do something different with every album. And that means uh, you know, expanding our horizon and trying things that are probably not expected or that people are not used to. And that's why there's going to be more songs like Epiphany in the future for sure or Ptolemy Was Wrong. Um, but there's also going to be heavy tracks. You know, It's all part of the whole it's all part of the whole big picture really and I think there's a certain red thread that goes throughout all the songs on this album and on, on all of our previous albums too actually it's a certain way of how we use harmonies and and uh, how we work with with atmospheres and moods and it doesn't really matter if you uh, construct these harmonies on a if you play them on a piano or on a heavily distorted guitar you know it's essentially the same thing the musical content is the same it's just a matter of instrumentation and, and style then, and I've always tried to be as open uh, in that regard as possible towards any other kind of musical realms and influences. So I understand why some metalheads may uh, give us a lot of shit about songs like Epiphany, but uh, you know, then again, uh, people should just move on and focus on the songs they like and uh, face the fact that we're always gonna do stuff that uh, that doesn't fit any genre or, or is not going to be like purely metal or whatever because we're not a metal band in that case. 
So you should uh, you should give this track a chance, I think. Yeah,